The Premier is finally following through on his word. For generations to come, we will not have money laundering and we will not have family breakdown due to problem gambling in this state. That's what we solve today. Under the $344 million policy, pokey machines would be cashless by the end of 2028. Political donations from pubs and clubs would be banned. But there'll be no spending caps on the cashless gaming card, meaning gamblers would decide their own limit set for seven days. Let's get restrictions in place so that the maximum play is, say, $100, $500. Reform, to get it right, takes time. It needs to be done in a measured way. Small to medium venues would be given interest-free loans and grants. And from April, an independent task force would see it through. There's still much to be worked through, uh, but we bring strong affirmation for the reform. I, uh, like Stu, believe this isn't perfect, but it is pretty damn good. Gambling reform became a key election issue following a damning Crime Commission report released in October. The Premier says his policy will support all eight of its recommendations. Drug dealers don't bank their money because they are then exposed to law enforcement seizing it. Can I just say this to Chris Minns and the Labor Party? Now is the time. Get on board. Labor isn't budging on its commitment to only trial a cashless gaming card, but it will adopt the government's pledge to buy back 2,000 pokey machines. Now this is a good initiative and one that would be adopted by New South Wales Labor if we win the election. The industry has expressed concern but says it's committed to working with the next government. Rani Heyman, ABC News, Sydney.